It's easy. Is it taking it back faster, you think, or would it be more? It's more about the more relaxed I am, the more just centered I feel. I feel it allows me to come off without swaying. But the big thing is, this is kind of like, um, you know, someone who's been in the gym for a while and they make 225 look easy because they can bench 405 and then someone comes in who can just get 225 and it looks shaky and they don't know. So it's like, but to get to that, they had to train past their max. And like, that's the thing with you. Like, I feel like if we can get you training past your max, I have a lot of ideas that I think I, that yeah. I use. I, what, we're, what I would want to do is I want you obviously be able to control a 130, yep. you know? I just don't know how to produce the speed. I feel like I'm strong enough oh, to easily. be able to make these motions. I just don't know how to make well, it's, the motions. Here's my opinion. My opinion is that it's a neuromuscular system that has to be firing more efficiently. My guess is that, and this is my thought, I think my neuromuscular system is firing at very close to 100% of its max. Yeah. Yours might only be firing at 75%. So if we can train that yeah. neuromuscular system to be firing closer to its max by doing very yeah. targeted yeah. speed yeah. training, like my belief, especially with the strength you have, is that you could be sitting in the 140 to 142 range on the course. That would be ridiculous. With control, like, oh, like ask, like if you ask Micah or any of the guys I'm playing with, like they'll say mm -hmm. I've been hitting so straight at about 140 club speed with like these pull cuts on the course. You have no problem getting there within a year, in my opinion. And that's the thing is like, um, especially since I'm out here in Dallas now. You know, obviously around. My hands almost fly out. Now I want to swing freaking hard. Like. Especially if I, we can get. I want to see if I can get 100 ball speed, man. Like, mm. If I can get 100 ball speed, I'm gonna What do you think would be one thing that could help maybe get it to 115 right now? Right now, what I would like for you to do is, come. Don't be afraid to come more off the ball. More off of it. Okay. If, if, but don't be like like that. Oh yeah. Be yeah more like on that. top. You, you know, I mean, yeah. you're pretty much the best golf in the world. So. <laughs> don't be afraid to shift off and then shift through. And like the other thing I would say is be more patient from the top. Let that completely load. Okay. And then, see, that looks further. Oh, yeah, wow. Already one, one three three miles, miles. miles. See, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for these things that are just going to allow. Just like, but be patient with the load. It's going to take a little longer, I think, to get back to the balls. Just be patient. Let this speed come. There you go. I actually look like I had a little more speed on it. Yeah, that one looked good. There you go. 14, yeah. So the, the more patient you are, the more of an angle you're going to be able to create at the top by letting the club set. There you go. Interesting. Because I always just try to swing it faster. Mm -hmm. That felt faster, but no. Oh, yeah. There you are. 116. See, speed is easy. <laughs> oh, that was faster. <laughs> that's not That's the though. ball. Or that's, that's the, the system. system. You're, already, you're already too fast. There 119, you know. holy. He'll get to 120, no problem. It oh, literally just yeah. takes like three seconds with Kyle. And he's I've all well, if, you just get, if, if you get the, the right input into it. Okay, let's get to 120. We can probably get you 130, honestly. Yeah, let's do it. So it's actually more holding or delaying it because I've been trying to swing fast. Ch -ch -ch well, it's, it's a very, it's an oxymoron. People want speed, so they try to really get jerky and faster. It's not the way. It's about, and you Producing talk, you, their momentum. well, and you said it, you know, with the wrists. Speed from the wrist comes with patience. Like, that's the point. You know? Yeah, for sure. And maybe that's, I've been overloading it. I can't swing it fast enough because of that. Because if I go too fast, I won't unload. I think the one thing I'm gifted at is the ability to time my wrists and release them at, right, at the right time. Like, I want to see if I can get to 140. I bet you I can get to 140 this club. Let's see. But like for me, what? it's kind of like I shift, yeah, but I really give my hands time. And I think my awareness of where I'm my enjoying hands the and my wrists are, it's kind this of like, insane. it extend, well it is it's extended for my body, but like my awareness of where my hands are at every point of my swing, I can tell you without looking. Yeah. I'm gonna call it and I think that's why I can strike the ball the way I do at the speeds I am, because I'm so conscious where my body is. Wow. Oh my God. And I mean, I think the other thing is, it's, I'm able to hit it pretty straight because I'm just so aware of yeah. where everything is. And, uh, you know, it's like... 134. <laughs> we'll get to 140. It's, it's just, I've done it for so long. It's like you, like, you're so good at golf that you don't have to actively work on it. But yeah. you, just, you just, it's just a part of you. Yeah. And I think that's the way speed is for me. It's like, I might be not be the most physically gifted or the strongest, but it, I've done it for so long and studied it so much. That's kind of just like... You just have second nature. You, you know? know how to do it, yeah. Yeah. 
I don't want to roll slightly heavy. <laughs> but like, this thing is ridiculous, dude. Yeah. It's nice to see like they're still going pretty straight. Yeah, well, that's so. You want it to go straight? Hmm? You want to go? Well, get to 140 first. And I'll I'll give you some. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was. <laughs> It's longer. Oh my god! Oh, what? Kyle. Oh! 139.7! Oh, 45 yards with the wind! <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Dang! Dude, that was my driver. I mean, hey, like, it's round enough to 140 here. Alright, now I'm gonna start doing pulling some tricks out of my sleeve. I'm gonna hood the face a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give off it. <laughs> this is. He's a different breed, folks. He's built different. 140.4 ball speed with one. And this may slow down your speed. I have no idea. This is something that, you know, can maybe limit it or not. But I would feel like through impact, feel like that elbow is pointed towards the target for a lot longer. So not necessarily holding it off, but let the club go. Throw it. Throw it as much as you want, but let the elbow just stay a little bit more that way through. So you can throw the club, right? Everything's thrown, right? Whatever you want. After you get through impact, then it can go over. But just be kind of aware of this left arm being a little straighter. So should I kind of feel like the shoulder's kind of pulling up and towards the target? Correct, that's one way of doing it, yep. So especially for wide shots and stuff like that. And you don't want to like hold it off too much. You want to still throw it, you still want to feel like you're making the same motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you just want to feel like that elbow is just pointing towards the target for a little longer, like, like it's being held down the line, yeah. Just a little something that'll help you control it a little bit more. You won't miss it as much left. Yeah, that's the thing. If I could take out like left. Yep. And then how you fix right is by going internal in the right form. That's so like more like internal like that, or so yeah. yeah. So you see how your your, your elbow is pointed that way already. Mm -hmm. So that's fine as long as you get it to the top of the swing and you go through impact with it being so you're more there. You want it to be more there. It's it's just a little different. Yeah. Yep. Shake is in play. And now I'll be fine. And so you'll start missing a few right, and yeah. then you learn how to control that. Best in the world. Well, I'm just helping your brain gain an awareness of where yeah. things are. Because when you get things closer to end range, you start having and building more pressure that allows you to understand what's going on. That pushing speed is he's already right where he was when you Sorry. maxed I don't want to catch you. Sorry. No, you're good. That's, that's, that's big. So you're not, one. and that's what you're like when this always happens. Like I remember, remember one eighteen was a big number. Yeah. Now it's the twenties. Chunky. Your oh, shape is man. so much better. That your one looks so good. Just taking right. a, little, a little more time into it. Yeah. Your shape is so much better. That's right. got to be fast. It's gonna be about one twenty, one twenty two. Yeah. <laughs> but your shift is already so much better. There it is. Oh baby. He's 12 miles an hour faster with this, just not even trying. And I'm dying over here. <laughs> there you go, he's creeping up. 122.7. I think oh, he man. got 125. Well, didn't feel faster, but oh, well, maybe. It's going to be right on where you're at this row. Yep. <laughs> Oh, that was fast. And notice how you're starting to hit it more in the center of the face. That's your. Oh yeah. Your body's adjusting to this new speed. This is kind of the governor's realigning. One twenty three. That's my guess. There you go. Basically Let's go twenty five. You got. It. No problem. That looked Ooh. fast. That's huge. Yeah, one twenty five. One twenty six. Oh, one twenty four point nine. That counts. Eh, no, it's not one twenty five. <laughs> it says down there, but. That was right. That was one. Yeah. Oh, that might do it. Oh, that's that's oh. looking good. Let's see here. Maybe. Grow. Grow. Oh, uh, that's Ooh, close. That's there it is. <laughs> that's cool. Ah. Tell you, this guy's gonna be a monster. Ah, I don't yeah. know about that. I mean, I hope so. Here, let me give it to you. Twenty-seven. Ooh, that might be it. You're just getting faster and faster. Yeah, I just, yeah. this is what happens. So, so, no. Not fast enough. It's addictive, isn't it? Oh, it's super addictive. Way more than getting a golf ball in the hole. 
I'm serious. <laughs> this is weird. I love hitting the ball far. That's all I try now. This is this guy. Didn't push off hard enough. Nope. That's big. Is it? That's bigger. Maybe. Nope. Yeah, it's a big good thing for me to throw on my Instagram. On our Instagram. Yeah. Today. You got it. Nope, that's just longer. <sighs> this is what happens. I just gotta keep Well, it's kind of what I like to call a sticking point. Once you hit that sticking point, yeah. the, the key to gaining speed is to get that last mile an hour. That's when you pretty much kind of push yourself to a new level. Oh, there it is. And so a lot of my training isn't gaining speed from the outset. It is actually trying to get to my sticking point, and that is where the Break speed it. gains go. Break yeah. that. So if you can push that last that mile an hour, that's, weird. that's kind of where, it's where you're like scratching and clawing for everything you have, and that's where that growth comes. And repeating that over time, over a process of years, is where that speed builds. Correct. You know, my sticking point used to be something like 220, and then, you know, we got to 221. Oh, there we go. And so it's creeping up one uh, mile an hour, you know? That's so crazy. Yeah, even if you creep up a quarter of a mile an hour session, they add up. It adds up to a lot of speed gains. Oh! And this is pretty much what I did throughout 2019. That gave me about, took me from about 147 to 154. Because over time, those mile an hour speed gains added up. Yep. That's it. That looked fast. That looked fast. That looked really fast. It's long too. That looked so fast. Come on, B20. Oh, okay. 125? I'm happy with that. <sighs> Get in my eyes. What is that carrying? 260? 282. Oh my god. <laughs> we can get pretty, we should be able to get pretty high, pretty far into the 60s. Eight iron in hand, Kyle Berkshire. Can he carry it? The. I'm trying to blade it a bit to get a little more roll out. Yep. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> that I think that's close to 290. Or is that not as far? Well, it read the spin higher. Yeah. Let's do uh, 165. Yeah. Awesome. One so now what I'm working on here is I'm gonna start really recruiting this back load, this, this load back here. I'm trying to push the limits of how far I can get on that trail side. So now we're just kind of trying to hunt for those last two miles an hour. Mm. Two eighty eight, two sixty four. I want to get it straight. I want to get yeah. sixty five. I want to. <laughs> Be picky. I got a few tricks in my sleeve. We can we can right, definitely do fine. I'm thinking we could get very close to one seventy. Oh. Two ninety nine oh. carry with an eight iron. Eight point. We got more. We got more. We got more. One sixty nine. We got more. <laughs> As you carry three hundred with an eight iron. Well, I want to go for one seventy. That's my number. Here. God. Oh my. Let's see. I done it. <sighs> oh my god. Man. 298 8 iron. Yeah. Oh, oh. Be it. Be it. <laughs> Come on. That's so close. That's I can get I I did, I miss it that a little bit. I got it. It's just this hit it 293 got, I got it as stars aligned. Probably my absolute limit is probably 301 or 302. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Come on right now. Oh, Ooh, oh. That, that looks good. Come on, go. It's farther than the average tour. Oh, yeah. That's three oh two. 